Time to have a look back at my favourite colour palettes from Hulai 2022. Hulai is a limited colour palette art challenge I've been doing during the month of July since 2018. The aim is to use no more than 5 colours in an image, though transparencies, layer styles and such can also be used to create colour variations. I felt this colour palette would be perfect for sunset themed landscapes. The one of the things that felt a bit foreign was that the darkest colour was a warm brown. Usually I pick a dark blue or a dark purple for the darker areas as that creates a more natural shadow and one that feels quite cold. Though for this colour palette I felt the warm colour really helps illustrate the warm summer day. This colour palette was so much fun to work with and I chose to use a more or less primary colour set. Though yes, I know that the blues, yellows and red I'm using here aren't the true primaries. The challenge with this palette was that while there were contrasts between them, they weren't necessarily that great. And on top of that, primaries also tend to be more attention grabbing, which is why they tend to be used in books and on toys for children. With this in mind, I also chose a topic for something that would grab your attention, science. This colour palette is quite cold if you look at the colour palette in full. However, during the early stages where the image is mostly pink and grey, it actually looks quite warm. And as the dark blue is used sparingly in the darker areas, that doesn't give off that many cold vibes. However, the image instantly feels colder the moment the teal background is added. And it's quite fun to see how adding one colour changes the image so much. But that is also the magic of colour. Another bright colour palette where the colours are leaning towards the primary colours. Again, not the true primary colours. And I like this one a lot more than the second colour palette in this video. This is mostly because I feel it's easier to work with pinks and reds over yellows. I did use blending modes in this image as I felt the pink flowers needed a bit more shadow to add a bit more depth and dimension. This colour palette might not be one you consider to be perfect for landscapes. However, I actually felt it would be a really good fit, mostly because the light purple would seem like a grey and the pink and yellow would work really well for both foliage and the sky. And I have to say that there might be some contrast issues with this palette, though I found some ways to work around it for the most part. What's your favourite colour palette in this video? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for joining me in this trip down memory lane. More process videos are up on my YouTube channel and you can find more of my work on my website and on social media.